Right guys, Mark Cosswell here. This is my swing analysis by me and my golf. Piers and Andy are going to get stuck into my swing and help me and my back swing. So as you can see, it's time for my swing analysis. Andy, how on earth has Mark Crossfield won this competition? Well, he enters every single week, and you know we thought, well, come on, we've got to give him one swing analysis. Haven't I've we? seen him do that on all those platforms we put out on as well. All right, so as you can see, it's time for my swing analysis. This is where we analyse one of your goal swings to help you take charge. Yes, and if you, if you want to be up here like Mark Crossfield having your swing analysed, then make sure you go to Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter today, and enter the competition. It could be you were helping your game this year. Absolutely, Andy. Before we get started. How nice is this hole? We're at Turtle Hill Golf Club in Bermuda. We're staying at the Fairmont. What a fantastic golf course this is. We've played a lot of golf courses around here and they're all pretty good, Pierce, aren't yeah. they? And this is a par three course, hence we're on this other par three with a lighthouse in there. So we're going to pull some good things, hopefully, from Mark Swing today that you guys can take and hopefully improve your game as well. Absolutely right. So let's just have a look at, well, let's get stuck in, shall we, let's to his golf swing. swing. Can't believe we just said that. Right, so let's have a look at the front on view, first of all. And as Andy said, we're going to show you, give you something that give you some things that Mark does really well in his golf swing that you can perhaps replicate into your golf swing. So let's start from the front on. Now what I want to do is really show you how the lower body does a fantastic job in the back swing. You can see it's hardly moving, isn't it? It's rotating, he's shifting pressure into this trail side, but he's really getting a fantastic wind up into the top of his back swing. Now you can see there, very solid, very stable in his lower body. He's actually got a slight overswing with the club, but that just shows you how flexible Mark must be. So he must, must be working hard in the gym, must be working hard in the gym. But you can see from here, he is ready to go. So he's in a great position. He then uses the ground to start his downswing toward the target. So you can see he pushes off from the ground, he has this position here, what we tend to call like a centered knees position, so you can see the knees are in a really good position as he's sort of going into this delivery part of the golf swing. And then as he strikes the golf ball, you can see he's shifting that weight through to that lead side. And then as he finishes his golf swing, position I really like here is that right knee on top of the left knee. So he's really getting that that, that right foot through, so that right knee's on that left knee. A lot of people could learn from just that position alone. And then if we look at it from down the line, again, we can see that the lower body is stable and controlled into the, back, into the top of the back swing. No real movement up and down, is there, Andy, in his, nope. back, in his golf swing? Really good. But then as he starts his down swing, you see the lower body is pushing from there. Quite a lot of uh, rotation from the lower body, obviously very common in, the, in the, the top ball strikers, pushing forward toward the target. And again, look at this position here. We can see no gap between his knees at all. So that right knee is working in toward that lead knee. So basically what we're saying with Mark Crossfield's goal swing is he's very good at you know, loading into his trail side and his backswing, but then pushing that energy toward the target so he finishes in great balance, but he's a very consistent ball striker. Exactly. And that really does help his consistency. And that rotation element you talked about, Pierce, really helps sort of stabilize the club face through the golf ball. And Mark's a pretty straight hitter, and that's one of the reasons why. Yeah, absolutely. So what we're going to do, we're going to give you a drill. But before we do that, we're going to give you something, that, a little bit of a test that you can do at home. Andy. Okay, right. So one of the things, as we mentioned, is, is Mark's stable lower body is really, really important. Now, one thing he does very, very well, he keeps the lower body stable, but he's able to create this nice wind up with this torso. So what we want to do, first of all, is see if you can separate the upper body from the lower body. So we want you to get up out of your chair here, take your posture, and all we're going to do here is we're going to see if we can rotate the upper body without moving the lower body. So you can see here, I'm separating the lower body from the upper body. And this is really what Mark's doing in his backswing. He's keeping a stable base, and as he winds up, he keeps that lower body stable and get this great sort of stretch and separation which really helps him use that lower body and use the ground. Yeah, you can see when Andy was doing that there, you can see that Andy was not moving that lower body. Some people show people what might happen when it goes off a little bit, Andy. Okay, so we see a lot of people sort of do this, it gets sort of stuck together, they struggle to be able to stabilize this. So the stability side is re really important to be able to create this wind up and use that lower body. So that's the first thing we want you to do to see if you can create that. And if you can't do that, do you know what? Practice it. Use the mirror as well. Yeah, absolutely. Right, so the drill, what are we going to do? Right, so the drill, this is uh, really going to hopefully help you with the backswing and the downswing. So we've got two alignment sticks here. We've placed them in the ground just outside the trail leg here and then just one outside the lead leg here. Now, this one, Pierce, is to work on the stability side. We want to make sure that we can avoid hitting this in the backswing 
keeping the right side really stable as we swing back, okay? We're gonna limit any swaying motion on yeah. the way back there. Now this one here on the way down, we're actually gonna get, get you to actually move towards this and rotate into this alignment stick. So we've got the, the ability to stabilize and load here, but then we're gonna push and rotate into this one and then sort of finish exactly against that there as well. I like that, so obviously as we said they were avoiding this one and that one there, we want to hit it, not sort of knock it over, but we want to move in toward that stick that tells you you're pushing the weight toward the target. So just do that again for me Andy, so just go into that centered knees position we were talking about with Mark, that's brilliant. So from this position here, really, it's very difficult to go wrong. You can see how early I get to that one there, Pierce, I rotate into that trail side, I get that shift to this lead side here, and then rotate into that position there. You can see here, this is where I'm using that ground to really swing through and get into that nice finish that Mark does so well. Yeah, yeah, I really like how he uses those legs. Right, okay Andy, so I suppose we better let you hit just a mini shot, just okay. get it down there, yeah. show people how to do this. So when you start with this, you know, obviously just hit some soft shots, just get the use of it, really focusing on those legs and getting them strong. Very nice. You can see when he's finished that golf shot, oh, the only time he hit that back stick then was with his golf club when he, when he swung through. But then he had really stable lower body and then he used that to start off his downswing. If you are somebody who has that instability, you are definitely going to find out on that backswing there. And it's a great feedback tool just to train those legs better. Absolutely. Okay guys, some really good things there to take from Mark's golf swing that you can hopefully put into yours to help you with the game this year. Post any questions or comments down below. What do you think of that analysis also? And also guys, subscribe to the channel for lots more great videos every week just down there. Absolutely, and also make sure you check out the rest of the videos we've done whilst here in Bermuda. And if you haven't already, go to meandmygolf.com, seven day free trial in the corner there. It's gonna help your game in 2016. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. Cheers, guys.